This is Fagnana Segnorum, the only Canadian Katie did. Why is he singing? Who is he calling? Music and sound have been used by animals throughout the ages to communicate. Sound is effective because, unlike light, it is difficult to block. And unlike scent, the signal can easily be turned on and off. Some insects use their wings to sing. Typically, specialized resonant sections of the wings, called cells, are used. The two most important cells for song are the mirror and harp of the lower wing. A scraper on the lower wing travels along a file on the upper wing as the wings close. This shakes the cells into vibration, producing sound, the movement of air molecules, producing waves of pressure. Fast vibrations result in short wavelengths and high pitch, while slow vibrations result in long wavelengths and low pitch. In low pitch sound, the long wavelength can travel far. High pitch frequencies lose their energy or amplitude more quickly as they encounter barriers such as vegetation. Sphagniana sphagnorum is unusual in that the male is able to produce two distinct songs by engaging different parts of the file. The first is an audible and complex wave. The second is a simple and ultrasonic one. The first part of the song is approximately 15 kilohertz and is composed of complex wavelengths as a result of many factors. This lower pitch part of the song is meant to travel far and tell females of the male's location and other males to stay out of his tree. His second song is more unique. Can you hear it? Don't worry, no human can. It is ultrasonic, well above the human hearing range. When switching to this song, the scraper will run all the way down to the more internal part of the file. Energy builds up as the scraper is caught and bends back, and is released suddenly at high power to produce a very fast burst of wing vibrations. The scraper runs over 12 to 15 teeth in each burst, making 12 to 15 pure tone waves, or a pulse of sound. The scraper is traveling at a speed of 35,000 teeth per second. On one run down the ultrasonic section, in the closing of the wing, it catches about four times, producing four pulses. This part of the song is highly adapted to the environment. The extremely short wavelength decays quickly as it moves through vegetation, giving the female more precise information on his location. When she can hear the ultrasonic part of this song, she will know he is near. This Canadian katydid has evolved a unique dual communication strategy, just one example of the fascinating diversity of sound communication in the animal kingdom.